Okay, it's here, the Arma 4x4 2-3S BLX. This is the 110 scale electric four-wheel drive stadium truck. Uh, just got announced today. I got one here in front of us, and we'll be taking a look at this as well as driving it. So it's going to retail for $329.99 at the time of this video. should be available shortly. I will have a link in the description below where you can pre-order one of these. Um, but yeah, I did have the previous Vortex, the V3. This is the V4. does come in three colors, a red, silver, a teal, yellow, as well as this, a pink and purple edition. So a lot of different varieties. But we're going to be taking a look at this and seeing what's different. So first off, you can see the body is a little bit different. It does have these little push buttons here up top, roof skid plates. Uh, the overall shape looks similar as before. I'm not 100% sure what the old one looked like. I think the front does look a little bit different. A little bit of a like Ford Mustang <laughs> kind of look to me. Um, but yeah, a little bit different. It does have the integrated wing here, hard plastic. Um, to provide some downforce. So yeah, let's take off the body. Uh, so two push buttons, just like the Sentin 4x4 V4, uh, which I also have a review on. It does have a push button in front, push button in the rear. You can see they did add all the additional bracing. So this is tied into the rear wing. That was one area of durability that the old Vortex had um, an issue with. It's just, I mean, it was just a hard plastic wing, but there's nothing kind of tied into the rest of the body. So they really tried to beef up the durability. It is spring load, little clips here. So those tie into the body posts, which are very low, very flat, and just have little cutouts for those uh, basically wires to lock into. Um, the rest of the truck, it is a composite plastic LCG chassis. Um, it does have the extended side rails here. So again, to prevent dirt and stuff from getting in, uh, the body goes over here where the cutouts are, and then these like sort of fenders prevent dirt and stuff from getting into it. There are little cutouts to allow air to escape as well. Uh, front of the truck looks a little bit different. Uh, looks like a wider and lower shock tower than before, both on the front and rear. Front shocks are very short as well. That was one interesting thing about the old uh, Vortex. It did have the shortest shocks of the whole 3S lineup, so a little bit different. Um, they do have a new Tune 1 uh, receiver and ESC combination, different than before, 80 amp, uh, 2 and 3S capable. Again, integrated receiver with the SLT3 radio, which does have dynamic stability control. So that is one new thing on this new V4 line of uh, vehicles. It does, they do have stability controls. So three different levels as well as an off to adjust how much, uh, you know, basically gyroscopic effect you want uh, the truck to do for you. Uh, servo is all new, the S662 servo, 140 ounce inches of torque, but you can bump that up to 8.4 volts if you have a compatible ESC, and that will get you up to 180 ounce inches of torque. Uh, 0.17 seconds up to or down to 0.13 seconds if you are running at a higher voltage. The motor is a 3100 kV 36 by 60 can motor. All new heat sink, all new giant fan here. Looks like about a 40 by 40 millimeter can or uh, fan. And then uh, as you can see, something else different. So they do have a new center differential. They do have a cat out here on the bottom, steel Sperger, as you can see. Uh, so that just makes it a little more fluid. Just drives uh, through the corner is a little bit uh, more of a curve rather than point and shoot. Uh, so that is all new. First introduced on the 4S line of uh, vehicles like the Mojave or the Crane and Outcast, and now they brought it down to the 3S. So pretty cool that they've been able to keep the price pretty much the same. Actually, when the Vortex first came out, I think it was like 369 or 379. It was the most expensive 3S lineup because they did have AVC in there. Um, so you know they did have additional body molding as well. I guess that's why they bumped up the price. So it was a little bit different than the rest. It had DX3 uh, radio, so it was more advanced than the rest. But they, I guess they've kind of decided to keep this in line with the rest of the 3S uh, lineup. So nothing, you know, sort of special. The old one, the Vortex, is a little bit different than the rest, but this one is pretty much in line. Uh, battery straps are Velcro. They do have little wire uh, tie downs here to keep the wires in place. They're okay, you know. I do use them nowadays, but... Um, between that and regular body straps, I, I really have no preference. Shocks are a little bit different than the Sentin V4. So I noticed there are red caps on this. My Sentin had black caps. I don't know if that is going to be the production model. This is a little bit of a sample pre-production version. I think it's pretty much going to be the same, but uh, we'll have to see. Maybe they have black caps on the new ones. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, shocks, 
Again, I think are a little bit shorter than before. At least the front looks really short than before. I'm not, I don't have the specs on this, so I don't know for sure, but just kind of looking at it with the shorter shock tower, with the wider offset, it looks a little bit shorter to me. So you do have metal hollow balls all the way around on the turnbuckles. That's a nice upgrade that they've done recently. Uh, the arms do have provisions for sway bar mounts. So I think again, you'll probably be able to buy sway bars uh, in the future to allow you to manage the roll on this truck. Uh, these tend to be, you know, one of the higher performing uh, vehicles out there. Uh, they are also releasing a Typhon 2 to 3 S BLX at the same time today. So again, that's more of, of a race style vehicle, right? Buggies, uh, stadium trucks tend to originate from the uh, racing line. Although, you know, this is still obviously mostly a basher. Wheelie bar here in the back. The rear bumper looks about the same to me. I don't have my old Vortex anymore. I did sell that, so I don't have it to compare directly, but uh, the rest of the bumpers and stuff look fairly similar, maybe a little bit longer than before. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, those look fairly similar. Body posts look like they are adjustable up and down. Any other changes? I don't really see too much else uh, besides stability control, which is going to be integrated into the radio. Um, that's going to be something you can't see just by looking at the track. But yeah, the next thing we got to do uh, is go out and drive it. All right, we got a 3S pack charged up and installed. I did calibrate the ESC and set my steering trim as well as calibrate the gyro. Um, I also ran it on a little speed run test, got 52 miles per hour out of the box. So pretty impressive so far, but we'll see how it actually drives uh, at the BMX park. Traction today looks pretty good. So this is with no gyro. Pretty good rotation in the air. Oops. Um, durability should be improved with the body now. That's pretty sick. Uh, Centered it a bit tight. Ooh, let's try uh, level two on the stability control. <laughs> a little crazy. Pretty nuts, so. Big rocks. Backflip action. I gotta say, the Vortex of the whole line might be the best all around uh, car. Typhon is definitely more of a race truck. You sent in more of a scale basher, uh, you know, really doesn't fly quite as well. And then the Granite's a monster truck, but if you want 
combination of handling, speed, and the ability to handle a good amount of terrain. I think this one's kind of it. <laughs> I mean, pretty ridiculous stuff. Some people enjoying the show there. Bounced a bit. All right, well, there's a quick uh, run of the Vortex 4.4223S BLX V4. <laughs> insane little truck um today the conditions were perfect the dirt is amazing um so yeah i drove well no breakages um body looks pretty good so no issues there uh didn't pop off or anything uh yeah seems pretty good i'll probably mess around with the uh diff uh fluids a little bit i think it's got probably something in this pre-production model something a little bit thicker than normal so we'll, we'll mess around with that a little bit but uh yeah it's working really really well i uh, hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like share subscribe buttons look for more videos soon thanks for watching